So a while ago, I posted a poll on our community page asking which video game you guys would like to see me review next. And unsurprisingly, the winner by a landslide was Tomb Raider Anniversary, the second game in the Crystal Dynamics era. I say not surprising because, well, this is still the 25th anniversary of Tomb Raider, and the series has always had a very strong presence on our channel. And hey, after all, we here at the Brotherhood of Gaming are the people's champions, and we will give the people what they want. So, without any further ado, I'm Eugene Morris of the Brotherhood of Gaming, and this is our review of Tomb Raider Anniversary. Tomb Raider Anniversary is a retelling of the story of the very first Tomb Raider game, this time fitted into the Legend continuity. This game features a young Lara Croft in the early days of her Tomb Raiding adventures. She is hired by a mysterious businesswoman by the name of Jacqueline Natla to recover the Skion, an ancient device of unknown power. After tussles with her hired gunmen Lawson and Pierre, Lara discovers a truth that Jacqueline is an ancient demigod from the lost city of Atlantis. After attempted betrayals of her brothers were unsuccessful, she was banished until she was released from her prison due to a nuclear test in the earliest 20th century. Now, she is using Laura in order to unleash the full power of the Skion to unleash a new reign of terror upon the Earth. Laura must battle Natla's hordes of ancient beasts, including a doppelganger created to mimic Laura's every movement. Talk about being your own worst enemy. The story is retold well enough. One of the fun bonuses featured in this game has to be a special commentary from the game's developers. One of them is Toby Gard, who talks about the limitations they had when developing the original 1996 game, such as how a few blocks spread across a landscape was supposed to represent a village. Now in this game, they have the chance to really flesh out those areas. They even added some new features to the story, such as making the T-Rex encounter into an actual boss fight. Yeah, Lara fights a T-Rex. And raptors. What of it? Another nice addition here was giving Lara more personality. The game's story really reflects how young and relatively inexperienced she is as she's put in these situations that she's never been in before, and forced to make some very, very tough choices. You not only see Lara get very scared during these trials, but it really forces her to think about how far she's willing to go in order to satisfy her obsessions. So overall, I actually do feel that this is one of the better told stories in the Tomb Raider game history. It flushes out Lara Croft personally, makes her vulnerable, and relatable, but still the badass adventure we all still love and admire. Did you play Tomb Raider Legend? Well, the gameplay here is virtually similar. You play as the legendary Tomb Raider as you run, shoot, jump, and swing throughout the areas. Lara's climbing and pushing abilities return as well, allowing you to navigate different terrains and solve puzzles. In fact, this game is longer, and a big reason why is the puzzle solving. Maneuvering large obstructions in order to gain access to the next stage is all over the place here in this game, along with finding keys and artifacts. This game makes you feel like a true explorer, so there you go. And of course, there's also the legendary Midas Trap. The combat is what strays the most from Legend. That game had a ton of different abilities at your disposal, such as a sidekick, a matrix jump, and so on. But here, the only real option that you have is the slow dodge roll. If you jump at the right time, things slow down and you can take aim just at the right time to perform a headshot. But mostly for me, the timing would be off, so I would just be, end up getting knocked on my ass. In fact, there are times where I get myself stun locked, which is supremely annoying. Another thing is that some levels in this game feel like they overstay their welcome. Meaning, some parts of this adventure ends up dragging on for a while. Come on, I want to be done with this section so I can move on, please. I feel like Legend was the perfect length for me personally, while Anniversary felt a little more padded out at times. Not that this game does not have its fair share of epic moments and fun sections. Overall, I respect what they were trying to do, extend the action to have a more epic feel. But sometimes, more is not necessarily better for an overall gaming experience. Also, sadly, what did return from Tomb Raider Legend were the quick time events. P.U. When I was writing the review of Tomb Raider Legend, I made the mistake of thinking that the original Tomb Raider theme was remade in it. Well, I was wrong. It was actually redone here in Tomb Raider Anniversary. Outside the version that was in Tomb Raider The Angel of Darkness, this is my personal favorite. 
It's a beautiful re-rendering of Lara's classic theme. Another nice piece, and one of my personal favorites in all video games, is the T-Rex boss theme. This ballad is very bombastic and over the top, exactly the type of music that should be playing when you're battling the King of the Dinosaurs. For my money, the original score is one of the highlights of this game. With some beautiful orchestral scores, Anniversary does boast one of the most pleasant listening experiences the series has to offer. Now when it comes to the overall look of this game, the graphics for the most part do get the job done. The game is able to faithfully recreate the landscapes that were in the original game, and expand them as well. From St. Francis Folly, to Egypt, to the hellish landscapes of Atlantis. This game does deliver on the locations worthy of a Tomb Raider. Lara herself also looks good as usual, as they were able to give her a more younger appearance to go with her relative inexperience. But with that being said though, there were some graphical hiccups. One thing that really popped up to me were the issues with Lara's shadows. Now, this was also in Tomb Raider Legend as well, but I forgot to mention it there. Maybe it was not as pervasive in that game as it is here, but I couldn't help but notice it more. Lara's shadow will appear in awkward places, as if the game's engine at times doesn't know where to put it. So when she's climbing up or down a ladder, or standing on the side of a cliff, it can be a bit distracting. So now it's time for the final call. Is this game a buy or a sell? Faithfully recreates the first game and expands on it. Fun gameplay that at times goes on a bit too long, great music, and mostly good graphics. Now, Anniversary is a bit of a sore spot for many core design loyalists. The story is that the original core design team was going to make their own 10th anniversary title, but that got scrapped due to Crystal Dynamics wanting to make their own, and incorporate the first story into their new Legend timeline. Now, many people who were fans of the original series absolutely despise this game. They also revel in the fact that it was kind of a sales disappointment, as it sold way less than Tomb Raider Legend. Now, in my humble opinion, I personally feel that the game is okay. I liked it quite a bit when it first came out, but while replaying it, I do felt the game was a bit long in areas and made it feel somewhat repetitive. I may be a bit off base here, but I think the problem is that that old school gameplay styles from the original series just didn't translate all that well to this new era. These newer games seem to work best when it's more streamlined. Not saying that the newer games can have exploration in them, but for this game, it just felt like something got lost in a translation, you know? But even though Tomb Raider Anniversary may not be one of my personal favorite all-time Tomb Raider games, it's still a competently made one. It's still a fun time that reimagines the first game with a more modern look. Lara in this game is as awesome as she ever has been, while still showing some more vulnerability. Tomb Raider fans can still have a good time with this one, as it honors the first ever Tomb Raider adventure while setting things up for Tomb Raider Underworld, which will be the next one on our list. Meanwhile, you've been watching the Brotherhood of Gaming.com. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and to visit our Teespring store to purchase new TBOG merch. Thanks as always, and remember, keep on gaming.